Hello friends, welcome. In this video, I will explain the stopping test details. Stopping test is also called crash stop or crash stern test. Through this video, you will also understand the terms like head reach, track reach and lateral deviation, which are part of the stopping test. So let's get started. In short, if I explain the stopping test, it would be just three things. While the ship is going ahead at a constant speed, then the ship's main engine is stopped and then given the stern propulsion while the rudder is kept amidship. Because of the transverse thrust of the propeller when moving astern, the ship tends to swing towards starboard, thus creating a path which can be seen on this diagram. This stopping test is the measure of the ability to stop while maintaining control. Full astern stopping test determines the track reach of a ship from the time and order for full astern is given until the ship stops in water. Through this test we get the track reach, which is the distance along the path described by the midship point of the ship measured from the position at which an order for full stern is given to the position when the ship stops in the water. As per the IMO recommendation, the track reach must not exceed 15 times the length of the ship. Except for very large vessels, it's maximum 20 times the length of the ship. Looking at the diagram again, you can see from the approach course, which is the left vertical line, the stern order is given. That is the point from where the calculation starts. And then you can see there is a time delay during which the ship travels a distance along the same course when the propeller rotation is reversed. And from the time propeller started going reverse, due to transverse thrust of the propeller, the ship starts to take a curving path. And this is the path which is traced by the ship's midship position, also called the center of gravity of the ship. And finally, at the end of the curve, the ship is dead stop. Then first measurement is the length of the track, which is your track reach. And the second measurement is along the original course from the time a stern order was given until it was dead stop. And that is your head reach. And then finally, because of the transverse thrust of the propeller, the ship has drifted away from its original course in the lateral direction and that is your lateral deviation during the whole test. So finally the stopping test is also called the crash stop or crash stern maneuver. This test is mainly carried out to test the engine functioning and propeller reversal. The stopping distance is a function of the ratio of power stern to ship's displacement. And let's go through the procedure again. Ship brought to a steady course and speed. The recording of data starts and then the maneuver is started by giving a stop order. The full stern engine order is applied with rudder amidship. Data recording stops and maneuver is terminated when the ship is stopped dead. The head reach and track reach question is often asked during the orals. So to remember the terms, just remember that track reach means along the track which was traced by the ship when crash stop was done and head reach means along the original heading of the ship the vertical distance from the point the order was given to the point when the ship has stopped and finally the track is traced by the center of gravity of the ship also called the midship position i hope it was a useful video for you if you have any feedback suggestion or comment then please do write down below all the best for your exams and as always thank you for watching